And we're back with Jimmy Litchfield from the baseball team. Jimmy, a great schedules laid out for you guys this year. Uh, you have Baylor coming in, Cal coming in, Nebraska coming in. Um, just what are, what are your thoughts when you look at the non-conference portion of the schedule? Uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, we got some some big big time teams coming in to uh, our field this year, which is going to be a lot of fun. We played Baylor last year at Baylor in a tournament. They beat us, so we're looking for a little revenge there. Um, Cal is always it's always good to play some Pac-12 schools. They're always good. Um, and then Do you remember their story? They were on the verge of getting they cut, were. and they we, didn't uh, make it to. Yeah, two of my good, actually three of my buddies were like the main stars in their reinstatement rap that they made a couple years ago. One I played with this summer, and then two that I played with when I was growing up. So, they, so are uh, you telling me you can rap? They can rap. I'm oh. not sure if I can rap, okay. but. No, they, they've they done a great job with that program, really turned around. I'm glad that they uh, were reinstated, and they proved it with making it to the World Series that same year. Um, and then Nebraska is going to be a good good time because of our old pitching coach, Silva, being there. Um, when he was at LMU, we played him, and there was a big rivalry. There's Every day there is a new joke going on. Something's, we were trying to pull pranks on him, so that'll be a good time to be able to play them, and they're, they're always a good team. So you're going to have a prank ready for Silva when he comes? Oh, I sure hope so. We'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Get those pictures together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Hawaii joins the conference this year. Unfortunately, we don't go there. So unless if unless you turn down the big offer from <laughs> the teams this year, you're not going to get to see Hawaii. Yeah, um, I'm. It's great that they're a part of the Big West now. I think that's a big addition. Um, they've always played well, especially at home. They're really tough to beat at home, from what I've heard. Mm -hmm. um, played with a couple of kids in the summer that, you know, their fans are pretty rowdy and they get some big crowds. So that'll be good. That'll be a big addition. And hopefully, it'll strengthen the Big West as a whole. Where do you see UC Irvine fitting into the Big West this year? Uh, definitely at the top. With our staff coming back, we should have one of the one of the top staffs in in the conference. Um, we only lost two two start a starter Crosby and then Nick Hoover mm -hmm. out of the bullpen. Mark Trenacosta um, pitched one year with us, but other than that, we have everyone back. So a lot of returners. We got we kind of got lucky with a couple injuries last year. They. Uh, we're kind of forced to stay this year with Hooper and Whitehouse, so that's going to be a big, a big part of our success is how well, how well we pitch, and then hopefully we can win a lot of two to one, one nothing games. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot, but which pitcher on our staff is going to be the Big West pitcher of the year this year? I would like to see Andrew Thurman win the Big West pitcher of, <laughs> pitcher of the year. Um, I thought he should have won it last year. The way he stepped in, I think he was a Sunday guy at the beginning of the year wasn't quite sure what his role was going to be, and then he really stepped up with our two injuries, and he dominated Fullerton and Long Beach, you know, hit Long Beach. Um, yeah, I thought so, he should have been a co at least. Uh, yeah, he, he rolled through the Big West, and um, I'm, expect, I'm expecting even more this year out of him. Does he care about that stuff, do you think? Does he... No, he, he's quiet about it. He doesn't say much. He just goes out there on Friday night and takes care of business. Well, Thurman, be a little bit louder this year if you want to win it. Um, Jimmy, thanks for joining us today. Fans, baseball is going to be exciting this year, but come out this Wednesday, come out for the costumes, come out Saturday for the fall ball scrimmage against San Diego, and uh, mark your dates because February 15th they kick off the season against Baylor, and it's going to be a great season. Fans, we'll be right back with Chloe Fada from the women's cross-country team.